guys, this is your girl Yumika back with another video. Um, so today I was on reserve from midnight to 1 p.m. I get a call from crew scheduling at 1.30 a.m. saying, can you report for duty? Which means that you got two hours to get to um, the airport. It was like, we want you to sit at the airport um, from 3.30 to 9 a.m. I'm like, damn, 9 a.m. But whatever it is, what it is. Gotta do what you gotta do. Reserve life. Hashtag reserve life. But anyway, so I get to the airport and then um, I go to the terminal and it's closed. So I call crew scheduling and I'm like, it's closed. You told me to be here at basically 325 and it's closed. So they was like, oh yeah, it was some mistakes. So you're gonna have to go to the other terminal. So I had to go outside, take the shuttle, um, to try to get to the other terminal so that I can catch my flight. So I get through the terminal or the one I'm supposed to be at and I get on the tram and um, they call me back and they're like, um, did you make it? Oh yeah, we can hear that you're on the tram. Okay, cool. So basically like, you no know, good, you're on your way. He was like, have a nice trip. I'm like, have a nice trip in my head. I thought he just meant to say, I said that on accident because basically I thought he just meant to say like have a good day and just used to saying have a nice trip but um I was like oh okay thank you so I'm like you know what I pull up my schedule and they didn't tell me but I guess you know that was him informing me that I was coming to Detroit or him just informed me that I had a trip in general so I'm like okay so I look at my schedule again and I'm, I see De Detroit Michigan I'm like Anyways, so I go up the escalator and one of the passengers, I thought he was a captain, really, just in plain clothes, but one of the passengers, I guess, says, oh, you're here, good. We've been waiting on you for six hours. I said, you ain't been waiting for me for six hours because um, I just got a call at 1.30 in the morning. But anyways, you know, like, I'm just like, you ain't been waiting for me, but he was like, so does that mean we can leave? Oh, they did say was waiting on one other person. I was like, um, okay, well, you know, if that's what they told you, then, you know, I'm just, you know, trying to make my way and I'm sure we're going to be getting, getting going soon. So at this point, it's like 3.30 on my schedule it says that we're leaving at 3.45. So I'm like, whoa. So usually we get about like 50 minutes, you know, or we're supposed to board the plane um, 50 minutes prior to it taking off so that we can do like pre-flights and check, make sure the safety equipment is good, um, make sure that, you know, um, like we got everything we need and stuff like that. And um, basically, so I'm like, you know, let me get into this flight, but I ain't tripping because I'm thinking that, okay, it's 3.30 in the morning, like we get back like at 10 or whatever. So I get on the flight, I'm talking to everybody or whatever, like, yeah, like, you know, we don't get back till, till later on tonight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like basically one, you know, o'clock in the morning. I'm like, what? Like, no, I seen 11 a.m. They're like, no, you didn't. So I look at the schedule and yes, it says like the next day. I'm like, damn, your girl didn't pack nothing. So excuse me, y'all, actually, like I just went to go get something to eat. I spilled something on my shirt. Your girl didn't even pack nothing um, in the bag because um, I've just been, for some reason, packing light lately. So your girl had one outfit and some underwears, like a few pair of underwears and some bras. And so your girl didn't really got nothing. So now that I'm um, actually, I get here, we get to the hotel, which the hotel is cool. So, the girl get to the hotel or whatever. I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm hungry or whatever. So, you know, I'm here now. I ain't getting back to later. So, I get home. I go um, walk down the street. And then, um, you know, I couldn't find nothing. So, I walk the other way. And so, I walk the other way um, because there was one store down the street. And basically, that store didn't really have what I wanted so I walked the other way so I get to like this little restaurant or whatever chilling getting me something to eat just sitting down waiting for my food and so this dude walk in and he like you okay you need a ride I said what you mean do I need a ride he was like do you need a ride I said what are you talking about he was like well I seen you walk down to the other store or whatever and then you walk way back over here so I was just wondering if you need a ride 
I said, I don't need no ride. I, I do not need no ride. I was trying to look for some food. Like, don't do me. Your girl do not look like a prostitute. Like, okay, I know that I didn't bring no clothes or nothing like that. But your girl don't look like no prostitute, so don't do me. I was like, no. I'm good. He was like, oh, I was just asking. Well, next time, don't ask. Okay. Shit. But anyways, I'm here and um, the flight attendant life, you know, like, shoot, if you ain't ready to just like be called out your bed and be ready to go, like when they say go, then this ain't the life for you. But other than that, like also I'm real mad because honestly, I could have, you know what I'm saying, turned this into like a little trip. Like if I would have known that I would have been here, had to check in at 3.30 and was leaving at 3.45, I would have turned this into a trip. Like Mika would not be here by herself. Like y'all should have told me. That's all I'm saying. They don't have to, but they should have told me. Because really, like I said, they only got to give you two hours to get to the airport. But everybody else knew they were coming to Detroit. Mika didn't know she was coming to Detroit. Okay? But anyways, you know, free room. You know, just... This could have been a vacay, bae. Anyways. I just had to tell y'all. I just had to tell y'all about the story. But anyways, um, again, excuse my little, you know, dusty mark right here. But don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and all the rest of the stuff y'all can do. Thank you. Don't just look at my video. Look. Subscribe, okay? Your girl don't got a lot of subscribers because I'm brand new. But subscribe to your girl channel. Like, dang. And let me know what else y'all want me to talk about. Period. Reserve life. Hashtag flight attendant life. Period. Okay, y'all, so it's time to go home. So, again, go ahead and like and subscribe. And until next time.